to God. You are worthy. King of King, Lord of Lord, you are worthy. Worthy. Lord, you are worthy. King of King, Lord of Lord, I worship you. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above heaven. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above nations. O oh, let your glory be your boo from the earth. O oh, let your glory be your boo from the earth. Be thou exalted, O oh, Lord, the boo O oh, be thou exalted, O oh God, the bull of all power. O oh, let your glory be the bull from the earth. Let your glory be a bull from the earth. His name is Aya, Abu Vodani. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is Aya, oh, Abu Vodani. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Oh, your name is Aya. Aya. Abu Vodani. Oh, your name is Jesus. Oh, your name is Lord. Oh, your name is Aya. Abu Voda Ali. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, oh Emmanuel, I love you, Emmanuel, oh Emmanuel, oh Emmanuel, oh Emmanuel, I love you. Emmanuel, 
Emmanuel, Emmanuel, oh yes, Emmanuel, oh Emmanuel, I love you, Emmanuel, 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 oh Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel, I love you, Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel, yes. Oh, Emmanuel, oh, Emmanuel, I love you, Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel, oh, Emmanuel, oh, Emmanuel, I love you, Emmanuel, oh, Emmanuel, oh, Emmanuel, oh, Emmanuel, I love you, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, sing out to him if you love him, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, I love you, Emmanuel. Why can't you appreciate the Lord? Why can't you open your mouth and begin to thank Him? Why can't you open your mouth and begin to revere His name? The one that makes it possible for you to be alive. Why can't you bless the name of the Lord for His goodness upon your life? Why can't you thank God for a time like this? Why can't you thank Him because many slept, many could not wake up? You wake up this morning, it's not because of your righteousness. You wake up this morning, it's not because of what you have done. It's not because you are a rich man, neither because you are a rich woman, neither because you are a handsome man, neither because you are so beautiful, neither because of anything, but it is because of the mercy of God. Why can't you appreciate the Lord? Why can't you say, Lord, I am grateful? Why can't you tell the Lord, Lord, I say thank you for this morning? Thank you for the gift of love. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for what you are still doing. Thank you for what you are still about to do. Why can't you appreciate him? Why can't you lift on him higher? Why can't you say, God, I am grateful? Why can't you say, Lord, I am grateful this morning for your mercy on Kamala? If not by your mercy, where could I be? If not by your mercy, by now I could have perished. If not by your mercy, Lord, where would I be by now? Beloved brothers and sisters, if you know what happened in spiritual, you will open your mouth and begin to revenge the name of the Lord. Worship the Lord because He has been a good God. He has been our sustainer. He has been our advocate. He has been our director. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him because of what you have done. Thank Him for the sake of His love. Thank Him for the sake of His mercy. Thank Him for the sake of love He have given us on that day. Thank Him, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Oh, I am so glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad, I will rejoice, so he has made me glad. Oh, 
he has made me cry. Oh, I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me cry. Ah, he has made me cry. Oh, I am so glad. I will rejoice so he has made me cry. Father, I want to thank you because you are making me cry. Lord, I want to thank you for a moment like this. Lord, I want to thank you for the gift of love. Lord, I want to thank you because you are Abba, Father. Lord, I want to appreciate you on behalf of Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation. Lord, I want to appreciate you for what you have been doing for us. Lord, I want to appreciate you for what you are still doing right now. Lord, I want to thank you for what you are still about to do. Lord, I want to thank you because it is by you we have not consumed. Father, we appreciate you, Father, for your mercy. Lord, we appreciate you for your kindness. We appreciate you because that is why you have called Jehovah. That is why you have called Almighty. That is why you have called I am Dantanya. That is why you have called the God that answer by fire. That is why you have called Emilius God. That is why you have called the I God that created the world. That is why you have called the only true God. Blessed Father, we worship you. Blessed Father, we glorify your name. Blessed Father, we appreciate you, my Father. Lord, what shall we say unto you? What shall we offer unto you? What shall we render unto you this morning? For your mercy upon our life, for your kindness upon our soul, for your faithfulness upon us, my Father. Lord, we come to say thank you. We come to say we are grateful. We come to say we reverence your name. We come to say power belongs to you, all glory be unto you, Father, because there is no like you, Father. There is no God like you, you that created the heaven and earth. You have the fantasy. Lord, your children are saying you are worthy. Your children are saying you are almighty. Your children are saying there is no like you. Your children are saying, oh Lord, my Father, you alone is worthy to be prayer. Blessed be the Holy Name, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning, my brothers and sisters, you cannot hide it from the Lord. You cannot hide it for Jesus. You can only hide it for me, but you can never hide it for God. No matter the sin you have committed, if you confess on your sin to the Lord, the Lord is able to forgive you. The Lord is faithful to show you mercy this morning. I want you to open your mouth and begin to say, Lord, I am sorry for where I have sinned against you. I want you to open your mouth and confess your sin to the Lord. Remember what the Bible said, Whosoever that shall hide this sin shall not prosper. If you hide your sin, I tell you, you can never prosper in your life. But this morning, tell the Lord, I have come. Lord, I have come in your presence. Lord, show me your mercy. Forgive me my sin and wash me thoroughly. Cry unto God this morning because a prayer of a sinner is abomination before the Lord. Tell the Lord, I have come before you. Show me your mercy. Wash me thoroughly with your precious blood and make me holy. Precious Father, we have come to you this morning. We are asking you, O oh Lord, my Father, to show us your mercy because we cannot hide it for you. Lord, we cannot hide it for you, my Father. Lord, where we have deviated away from you, where we have sinned against you, Father, we are calling on you to show us your kindness. We are calling on you, O oh Lord, my Father, to pity us as a father pity his children. Lord, we are your children. Lord, only you, my Father, in glory, we put our hope in. Only you, we put our trust in. We are crying unto you, Father, to show us your kindness. Let your kindness be for us. Let your kindness, O oh Lord, my Father, be upon us this morning, Lord. That at the end, my Father, glory and honor be unto you. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Lord, come down, my Father, with your presence, Lord. That at the end, your name may not be glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. It's not by power, it's not by power. It's not by man, it's not by man. Bye bye, Spirit. Says the Lord, it's no by power, it's no by power, it's no by man, it's no by man. Oh, by my spirit, says the Lord, this mountain must be removed. Oh, in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. Oh, this mountain must be removed. Oh, by my spirit, says the Lord. It's no by power, it's no by power. It's no it's no by man, it's no by man, by my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain must be removed. Oh, this mountain must be removed. In Jesus' name, this mountain must be removed. Oh, by my spirit, says the Lord. Let me tell you something. On that day, Paul cry and cry. Who will, who will deliver me from this body of death? Poor cry and cry. Who will deliver me from this sinful nature? Who will deliver me from this wicked war? Beloved brothers and sisters, do you know that sin, when sin is ruling you, is a mountain. When sin is about to take you, is a mountain. When sin is taking you to hell, is mountain. Those mountains must be removed. When you yeah. see that you are trying all your best, all your best to let anger go, anger say no, anger is mounting. When you see that you are trying all your possible best to make sure talkative go, talkative is still there. Talkative is a mountain. You are trying all your best to make sure lie. Go away from you. But lie is telling you, I am not going. Lie is what is the mountain. You know yourself that if the truth is sad now, brothers and sisters, you will not make heaven. Those things are what a mountain. This morning, we need to cry and tell the Lord, Lord, root out this mountain in me. Evil mountain, evil character, all those things that are inherited from Satan, Lord, my Father, pour them out of my life because I want to be a real Christian. I want to be a holiness Christian, not somebody practicing, but somebody call he or herself a holiness preacher, a holiness Christian, a holiness sister, a holiness brother. But the person knows that he or she is on her way to hell. You know your anger. You will tell yourself this anger is a something that I be in me that cannot do away with. It's a lie that is for the pit of air. You can do away with anger. You can do away with provocation. You can do away with talkative. You can do away with malice. You can do away with unforgiveness. You can do away with all these characters. All those characters are mounting that want to send you to hell. Why can't you open your mouth and cry and say, Jesus, deliver me from this body of death. Lord, deliver me from arrogance. Many of, many of you are full of proud, proud ego. All this amounting. Why can't you cry and say, Lord, 
Deliver me from this body of death. Deliver me from this mountain. Lord, root it out. Lord, root it out. Oh, precious Father, you alone is the owner of Mana. You alone is the one that has the panacea. Lord, I dedicate my life to you. Lord, I dedicate myself unto you, my Father. The husband man that labor must first of all be a particular. Therefore, eternal Father, I cry unto you this morning. Every mountain in me, Father, arrogance, O oh Lord, my Father, Lord, proud of life, Lord, arrogance of life, Lord, must root out, my Father, the spirit of Arafarai, Lord, the spirit must be root out, must be chiseled out of my life, O oh, precious. Your father, I cannot do without you. Lord, I ask your father to do something new in my life. I ask your father in glory that you will walk upon my life. You will walk upon every member of this group. Father, you will roll down, Lord, my father. Everything that does not give glory to you in my life. Everything that does not represent you in my life. Father, you will roll them out. Holy Spirit, we cannot do without you. Father, we cannot do without you, Father. Lord Paul Jesus, Lord Paul Jesus, Lord Paul Jesus, my Father, Paul Jesus, every arrogance, Paul Jesus, every ego, Paul Jesus, every pride, Paul Jesus, every character that is not of you. Lord, those character we have inherited from the pit of hell must be rolled out, my Father, because only you is the one. Only you is the one that can help us. We cannot help ourselves. We cannot help ourselves. Holy Ghost, we are calling on you for your happy heart. We are asking you for your happy heart. We are asking you for your happy heart. Holy Ghost, I pray, Father, let your name in you be glorified. Thank you, Abba Father, for you in you is the one. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Do you know many people on this group are amateur? Many people on this group, they are amateur. What does it mean, amateur? People that reach to have husband and wife, people that reach to have children, now they have children, you will see them, they will dress, they will tell you they are going to crop. You know why? Because those people they have married, but they are amateur. They are not they are not even qualified to marry. You will see some of them, husband and wife will wear trousers, the wife will wear trousers, they will dress the child. They will go to crop. Why? Because of the spirit of amateur. Many people on this group, they, they, they be on such group, group that are preparing people to heaven. They will come here with trouble of life. By the moment the trouble go away, when you are not calling them down, that is the end. You can never hear them anymore. When you are telling them about prayer, they will tell you, my dear, I am I can pray on my own. Why? Because of the spirit of amateur. The spirit of amateur have overtaken them. They are not ready to go to heaven. They are just ready what they are after to make sure the problem solved. By the moment the problem solved, that is the end. But I tell you that the great problem is waiting for them on the last day. The great problem of what? Of missing heaven I will know if you don't go to school how can you become a, a professor if you did not go to school how can you have a your master degree if you did not kill yourself to such program whereby God dish out the truth reveal the secret to us you tell yourself because you are facing challenges of life after the challenges now, that is the end of prayer. That is the end of this group. Why? Because of amateur. 
because of the spirit of amateur is now ruling in the life of all Christians. That is the reason why you can see somebody will get provoked. Say, ah, this pastor used me to preach. Because of that, I go away. Do you tell me about your matter? No. As I'm preaching, as I'm talking, Holy Spirit can reveal your secret to me to tell me how I must preach, to direct me. Why? Because it is the, it's the Holy Spirit that is directing. He is the director of this group. But you should be happy that the Holy Ghost have revealed, have revealed your secret. Why? Because Holy Ghost is a gossiper. Holy Ghost can gossip anybody. Holy Ghost can reveal my life to you. Holy Ghost can reveal your life to me. The Holy Ghost is a gossiper. You will not begin to you will not begin to say, "Who oh, report this matter to me? This person did not do well." Because of that, you will not jump prayer. It's a lie. Why can't you go and fight the Holy Ghost? Why can't you go and fight the Holy Ghost? Because Holy Spirit is a great gossiper. He can gossip anybody. Brothers and sisters, this morning we are going to pray and tell the Lord to root out every spirit of amateur, amateur spirit, walking in the life of Christian, walking in your life. People get unnecessary offended. People get offended at all times. People get offended, they get provoked. Why? These people are still amateur. Why will I get offended? Because somebody preach about me. Why will I get offended? Because of uh, because of God is rebuking me. I will get offended. God forbid. Why can't you use me to preach? I told you use my life to make example when you are preaching in different direction. Yes. You can see the life of Paul today. That is the life we are using to make example. Why? Because the old life of Paul and the new life of Paul. The same way that you can use my life, use my past life and my present life to preach to people. This morning, brothers and sisters, you are going to pray and tell the Lord to circumcise your heart. Lord, I don't want to get offended any longer. Lord, the spirit of provocation, let him be root out. The spirit of amateur, Lord, let him be root out. Amateur spirit. Why can't you pray this morning and tell the Lord to walk on you? Tell Jesus, I want to be a disciplined Christian. I want to be a disciplined Christian, a reborn again Christian. Tell the Holy Ghost to help you. Tell the Holy Ghost to deal with you. Tell the Holy Ghost to help you that you cannot do it on your own. Let the Holy Ghost take absolute control. Let the Holy Ghost have his way in your life. Tell the Holy Ghost, I need your presence. Holy Spirit, come and walk me. Pray this morning. Tell the Holy Ghost to chisel every character, every character. Tell the Holy Ghost to remove them out of your life. Tell him, Holy Ghost, walk upon my life. Walk upon my soul, oh my Father. You alone is my Lord. You are the one that have the fantasy in me. Lord, I ask you, Father, to walk on me. I ask you, Jesus, to do something new, something new in my heart, something new in my soul, something new, Jesus, you are the owner of my life. I cannot do without you, Lord, but with you, I can do all things. I need your presence in my life. Lord, we move out, root out. Every character that does not give glory to you, every character that is not of you, let it be ruled out now. Let it be ruled out. Holy Ghost, walk on me, my Father. Walk on me, my Lord. Walk on me, Jesus. You are the Savior of my life. You are the Savior of my soul. Come down and have your way. Come down and let your name alone be glorified. Do it again in my life. That at the end, your name will be glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's pray for all the people that we back on on fasting and prayer this morning. The marathon fasting begin today. But I pray that all of you 
to be a part of this marathon fasting and prayer. If all of us be a be of this marathon fasting and prayer, we have one heart, one mind, one soul. I tell you, beloved brothers and sisters, after the fasting and prayer, you will be hearing different news. You will be hearing different testimony. You will be hearing different testimony all over the world. I tell you, but you must be, if you want to be on this fasting and prayer, I told you that uh, it is a fasting and prayer that will take us to another level. If Satan can possess his children and the children of Satan will begin to do, we begin to manifest both physical and spiritual, why you and I will not get possessed with the Holy Ghost? Why you and I will not get possessed to cause havoc to the kingdom of darkness? If Satan can fast, Satan children can fast to destroy your life, why can't I fast to say, Lord, give me extra work, extra anointing? Why can't I fast and say, Lord, give me the life of these white men and white women? Why can't I fast, Lord? Lord, this project of Good Morning Church Family Foundation must rob the world. Why can't I die? Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, this morning we are going to pray and tell the Lord of Abraham to give us the strength, the strength to carry out this 14 days fasting and prayer, the strength to come accomplish it, that all the distraction from the pit of air, we are going to tell the Lord to frustrate them. All the power that went to discourage us on this fasting and prayer, let God frustrate all of them. Pray right now. Tell the Lord on this fasting and prayer that begin today, God will give you the Jesus great grace, Christ, the empowerment to carry out this fasting and prayer. That at the Papa, end, the purpose of this fasting and prayer will be accomplished. Papa, Eternal Father, invisible and the holy wise God, Papa, we can't do without you. Father, but with you, I can do all else. Lord, I call on you, my Father, on this fasting and prayer that begin today. Father, help us. Lord, give us the strength. Give us the grace. Lord, to follow you, to carry on this fasting and prayer that at the end, your name will not be glorified. Lord, I pray, my Father, you will take away distraction. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty Father, we dedicate this new week to you. Holy Spirit, you are the owner of our life. You are our director. You are our best friend. I ask you to go with us. To our today, our journey of today is in your hand. Our going out, our coming in. All the appointment they are in your hand. Holy Ghost, even all our people all over the world, those that are in Asia, those that are in Nigeria, Africa, Europe, all over the world, in London, all over. Holy Ghost, I say preserve us today. I refuse to hear any bad news from any of our members. In the name of Jesus, Lord, they will not receive bad news from me. Lord, it will be well, it will be well with them. It will be well with my soul. Blessed be the holy name. Lord, all the things that the enemy have done last night when we were sleeping, I command all of them right now to be useless. Lord, I command them to be useless. Lord, Lord, that young man that you have revealed to me, that the Lord, the Jeremy deport him. Lord, that agreement of deportation, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. I say I cancel that agreement of deportation. It will not stand neither it will come to pass. Holy Ghost, have your way, Father. Lord, I pray, my Father, in glory, all the plans of the evil one, Lord, that train, Lord, Satan was working to make sure that that train, I missed that train, but your mercy kept that train. Holy Ghost, I pray, may we not miss our journey from earth to heaven in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the Holy Name, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters, we are going to be serious in this period of time because God is said to, to God is said to initiate people, initiate people 
to higher to the higher realm of the spirit. If Satan can do that, God will do it much more more than Satan. Somebody must be a terror, a terror to the kingdom of darkness. Paul, do you know that Paul was a terror? Do you know that? Eh? Do you know Paul was a terror? That was why. The, that was why the devil was uh, the, the spirit was saying, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know, but who are you? Do you believe on that? Why? Because Satan know that God that Paul is a terror to him. You must be a terror, a terror to the kingdom of darkness. A terror. Because they know, they see everything. If you are going anywhere, you are going, they will say, that person is coming. Like that person is coming. Let us run. Because we cannot withstand him. Please, the fasting and prayer begin. The people, all the people that are doing the fasting, you have to start with the Psalm 51. Psalm 51, use it to pray. We are having our prayer by 12, mid, by 12 noon. By 12 noon, when other people are taking their lunch, we need to be taking our lunch also. Endeavor to be there. After there, then you will not get the whole information how the program is going to go throughout the day. That is all the people that are pregnant, the people that are having troubles of uh, having any situation tonight is the night of uh, prayer. Praying for such program people. Endeavor to be in this all night. This all night, please make yourself available to be there by 12 midnight let's move straight without wasting our time in a, to the book of matthew chapter 7 matthew chapter 7 verse 21 21 to 23 the topic of this morning say i never know you i never know you i never know you that somebody may ask, may wonder, what is the meaning of that? I never know you. I have been with you for long. I have been following you. Why will you say you never know me? Beloved brothers and sisters, are we there? Yes, yes sir. Please read if you are there. Don't waste my time. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the way of the Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me, in that day, Lord, Lord, I will not profess in my name, and in that name I have cast out demons, devil, and in that name done many wonders work and dream. And then we I prefer unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that walk Walk in naked, in naked. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You see what happened there. He said, For he said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter in the, into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the way of my Father, which is what in heaven, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in, the, in that day. Lord, Lord, I have what I have. Uh, I, I uh, have we not professor in the name, and in in that name have we cast out devils, and in that name does many wonderful works. But what happened? But then will I profess unto them, I never know you. Depart from me, you. Ye that do it, ye workers of iniquity. Beloved brothers and sisters, many Christians, many pastors, many prophets, they are going to receive such message. But God forbid that I and you should receive such message. But people can receive such message if we did not key in into the message we are hearing. <laughs> You can see many prophets today, many pastors on Facebook, many people of today all over Facebook preaching day by day, preaching gospel. They will tell you they are preaching, they are holiness preacher. But what happened? Their heart, they are very wicked. Their heart, they are sin center. 
These people are doing it for their own popularity. These people, they are preaching just for their own belly. They can do all sorts of miracles. They can do all sorts of things. They can heal the sick. Brothers, you can heal the sick. You can raise the dead. You can move the mountain. That one does not qualify you. You are going to heaven. Do you believe on that? Do you yes, believe sir. on that? Yes, sir. You can do all sorts of things. All these things. But at the end, you will miss heaven. Yes. At the end, you will miss heaven. You can pray to the whole world. And at the end, you will be cast away. God forbid. You can claim you put on big tie, you put on big cross, that you even write it on your forehead that you are a pastor, that you are a holiness preacher. After everything, you will still miss heaven. Why? Because the Bible said, My people have perished for the lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected me, I, the Lord, will reject you. Many people today. Don't want to have teacher. Don't want to have everybody. Want to become pastor. Everybody want to become a. They want to become a, a preacher everywhere on Facebook, on social media, on a YouTube everywhere. People want to begin to preach gospel. Wonderful. People want to become pastors. Women want to become prophetess. That is wonderful, but is it according to the knowledge of God? Have you been instructed by the Lord? You will see people today, you are talking to people, they will tell you, don't you know I've arrived? Beloved brother, a rebellious pastor will not begin to carry multitude. A pastor that cannot accept discipline. A Christian that cannot accept discipline. Many people will come on this group, and we talk to them, they will get offended, say, why this young boy, why this small boy will talk to me? But, Sometimes you go to you go to your daughter, your daughter, you senior your daughter, your daughter will even shout on you, will even insult you, but tomorrow you still go to the daughter. Am I right? But you never get offended, said daughter, never you treat me again. Don't you know whether small or great? As long as God has ordained that person, that person is now a representative of God as a daughter of God. Therefore, if the person see error in you, the person begin to support you because you are the one feeding me. I tell you, break the pot. Break the pot so that I will remain in hunger and die and I will go and meet Jesus on time. But God will not let me die. If I love you, I must to tell you to escape this message. To escape it because Jesus said it's written with what with red, simply mean the word of the master. He said, Then will I profane unto them. I never know you. Depart from me, ye that walk iniquity. Walking iniquity. Many of you on this group, how faithful are you? You claim you are in the midst of people that talk about holiness and righteousness. What is your character between you and your friend? Only your character can send you to hell. How, like yesterday or Sunday, you go to church and jump on. Oh, come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi have done me well. When you want to give offering, your hand touch 50 euro. You remove your hand, you are looking for 20 cent. You are looking for 20 cent to give to your father who created you. The Lord is going to say to you, the path I know you not. You workers of iniquity. You need to know who is this God. You need to know the requirement of heaven. Before you can go to heaven, many of you, before you do your document, before you carry your house, you know the requirement of to carry that house, to achieve that house, to achieve that document. And then you do, you process everything, and today you you have it. If you must go to heaven, there must there is a lot of requirement. Those words of Christ make remark, clear to to clear, he make remark to to clear every statement to clear the word that all that 
that preachings may proclaim the gospel in the name of Christ, de uh, de uh, deliver, de drive out, drive out demon. You can drive out demon, perform miracles with with the name of Christ. Scriptures, scripture have teach us that many people will preach, but God can use all those re all those rebellion also. He can reuse them to work, to to do His work. He can use them to heal the people. He can use them to do all sorts of things. As long as even though he used them to do all sorts of things, does not qualify, does not give them that they, it does not give them the, the guarantee that they are going to heaven. God can use them. Do you know that Satan can God can use Satan to bless you? Do you know that? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God can use anybody. God can use Satan himself. How God used my, he used the evil woman that stood on that day, evil police woman that told me face to face that I will never have document. How can I talk about document when I'm in house arrest? But God said, okay, I will, I will prove to you that I can use anybody. But glory be to God, it was the same woman God used the word to answer me. May God use all your enemy to answer you in Jesus name. But, but for God to use your enemy, should I tell you what I did in that moment? I repented for my sin. I said, Jesus, I have decided to follow you, whether con ray or con shine. Brother, there is a need of what? Of making a decision. A decision, Lord. I have decided to be faithful. I have decided to be truthful. I have decided to be a real Christian. If I begin to ask many of you today, right now, if Christ can do it to open our heart, to open our heart, to see our mind, are we not going to run on this group? Are we not going to run? We will run. You are deceiver. Some people will tie their head. We tie their head. We tie their head. We tie their head. Come, come, come. But they are still putting Satan property that are still some from inside. You can see that they are coming to church. You want to deceive pastor? You are deceiving yourself. And they know some sisters that are nowhere. You see them with long skirt, but they will wear they will wear trousers under it. Who are you deceiving? Me? God forbid. But the Lord will tell you on that day. He said, I never know you. You can be on this group for long. He will tell you, I never know you. Why? Because you are not a faithful servant. You are not a truthful servant. You are not obedient servant. You are not submissive. You are not submissive to the word of God. Beloved brothers and sisters, there is a day that I set aside. The scripture teaches us that, uh, that all those that preach the gospel, they can pray, they can even have zeal. They can even have this great zeal, but they are living out of ignorance, preaching, preaching the gospel of Satan. They can even preach. That is the reason why Paul make a statement here because Satan, God give Satan uh, power time ago. Satan is using the power today to operate. Is using the power to operate. That is the reason why Paul make it clear one that. Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Those, though, it, therefore, it is not great things if him, if him, if his minister also be transformed as well as a minister of righteousness. It's not a great thing anymore. Do you know that Satan children today have transformed to become the minister of righteousness? They are on Facebook, they are on YouTube to deceive people. Brothers and sisters, are they not pastors today? Romancing, my sister was telling me how a pastor, a pastor was romancing, was romancing girl, a romancing a girl in Torino with video call. Was romancing, was romancing the person. But this is a pastor you call your pastor. This is a pastor that many of you call. This is a pastor that many of you call to pray for, for you. 
You are sending money to the pastor. If you call me for video call, why will you call me for video call? If you want to see me, go and see my video. Go and go and see me on Facebook. Go to my YouTube and you will see all my video there on you on our YouTube. Brothers and sisters, we must to be very careful. Many Christians have been initiated. Many Christians have been what have been have disconnected away from the ordinances of God. They are not living contrary to the will of God. Let's read fast. Let's read fast. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. 2 Corinthians 11, 14 to 15. Let's read fast. So that we really see that it is not a new thing anymore. If the angel, if the agent of Satan can be transformed to become the minister of righteousness. Are we there? No, verse 1. First Corinthians, Second Corinthians 11, 11, 14, 11, 14, 15. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if this masters also be transformed mm -hmm. as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their work. Okay, are you seeing it now? Mark the war. It's a marvel not. For Satan himself is what is transformed into an angel of light. Wherefore, it is not, it is not, it is, it is no great thing if, if he is, if his ministers also be transformed as what, as the minister of what, of righteousness. Whose end shall work shall be according to their works. It's no longer a new thing. But the Lord is warning all of you, all of you that have opportunity to be in this group, you begin to say you are looking for pastor. You begin to say you are looking for evangelist. You begin to say you want to hear another gospel. Which gospel that you want to hear that God have not given to us? That is the reason why he gave me a Moses of the end time, the Moses of the hour, to preach the gospel. To preach the gospel. But many of you are still what? Many of you are still worse than the prostitutes. Who are you taking cancer for? Who gospel? Who do you believe? Do you really believe on the person God has been using to talk to you? Who do you take cancer for? Because many of you know that I will not accept evil because of that. There are some cancer you want to you want to take cancer. You will know that even though I call him now, it's going to tell me the truth. You will not say no. I will not call him. Let me call another person that will give me wrong cancer. Do you know what you have done? You are a poor soul. You are a poor Christian. A poor Christian. But I pray God deliver you. In the book of Matthew 24, 24. Matthew 24, 24, you can see the angel, even Satan himself have transformed himself right now to become the angel of life. Matthew 24, 24 says, say, for those, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets shall show great signs and wonders in as much that if it was possible, if it is possible, that they shall what, deceive the very elect. Who are the very elect? Who are the very elect? The Christian that Christ have called. The preacher, the real preacher, Christ have called. The real preacher. If Christ is the one that called you, Christ will not give you messages you need to preach. At about midnight, when I was preparing message, I was having a message I want to preach, but I was moved to this, to this direction to preach on this message. Brothers and sisters, if it happen right now, is God, is he going to say, depart, I know you not? If it happen right now, is he going to tell you, depart, I know you not? That you are living in sin, secret sin. Paul, make clear, make, make it clear. The miracles power can be can be walking of Satan. Can be a, it can be walking of Satan. Miracle power. 
Let's see in the book of Second Thessalonians chapter 2, 9 to 10. Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, 9 to 10. Are we there? Even him whose coming is after the working of the devil, which is all power and signs and lie wonders. Ten, and I will all deceive evilness of unrighteousness in vain that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that may that they may be saved. That is it. Yes. Hallelujah. God bless you. He said, even him whose come is after the works, the working of Satan, with what? With all power and son. With all power and son. Mark verse 10. He said, and with what? With all deceivable. Deceivableness of, of unrighteousness in them that what? That perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they are hearing on this group. They receive not, not they receive not the truth of the gospel they are hearing on this group. Brothers and sisters in the law, that they may be what that they may be saved. They refuse to receive the truth they are hearing. They are looking for chipachiko miracle. They are looking for cheaper chicken wool. They are looking for those. They are looking for those people that preach that, that preach kokoma. They will tell you that your sin, that you are under grace. If you like, live in boyfriend and girlfriend in the church. Even though you can, even now you can be kissing yourself in the church. It's time to kiss. They can tell you all sorts of things that is no longer a sin. But on the last day, shall tell. Let's read in the book of Revelation, chapter 13. Revelation 13, 3 and 12. Revelation 13, 3 and 12. Are we there? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And I saw one of these dead as it were abandoned to death. And this deadly room was cleaned. And all the world wonders after the beast. 13. Okay. 13. And he does great wonders so that he may fire come down from heaven on the earth in the signs of men. Okay. Are you seeing, are you not seeing pastor today? They will tell you they make fire to come down. Have you never seen them? Eh? Yes, sir. Have you not seen them? Have, have we not seen them? Yes, sir. Those yes, pastor they make fire to come down to deceive people. It's, look at it in verse 13. He said, And he who does great wonders, so that he make fire come down from heaven on the earth, in what? In the sight of men, for men to believe them. For men to believe them that yes, they are great, they are great pastor. This pastor they are sent for heaven. You can see them today. In different angle in South Africa, in Nigeria, in Europe, they are coming every time to Europe now. You can see them. These are all these are all agent of darkness. They can do signs and wonder for you to believe them. For you to believe them. The Bible said, Those are have here. Let them what let them hear. Yeah. But many of you are mumu are running after them. But we neglected the word of God. I say, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, every other thing shall what shall be added unto you. Go and read that. That is the word of Jesus Christ, not the word of apostle. It's written with red. Many of you, I didn't know many of you here, you be on this group for long, but you never believe where you are. You never think that here this group, you never even think that this group is even existing. That this group is you spending money to make sure we survive the group. No. But every month, you always send money to pastor in Nigeria. You always send money to them that you call your daddy. Those you call daddy 
Are they daddy? Did they qualify to be daddy? They are daddy you to her. They are daddy you to her. Why? You refuse not to believe the truth you are hearing on this group. If I preach, before I preach, I refer you to the Bible to see what the Bible says. To see what the Bible tells us. To, for you and I to understand the time. It is very, very important. If you read verse 12 or Revelation 13 verse 12, you will see what the, what the Bible said there. You will see the beast. How the beast beast before him and cast costed the head and them which do it therein to worship the first beast. To worship the first beast. Today, the angel, the agent of Satan are doing great work to make sure that today everybody on earth to worship the beast, to serve Satan, to serve Satan, to be under Satan bondage. But many of you are many of you are happy. That is the reason why when we talk about makeup, many of you say makeup is not a sin. Many of you have not yet believed. God sometimes overthrows Satan. Overlook Satan of his passion by what in false preaching in order to bring salvation, in order to bring salvation, praise the Lord. Sometimes God look all the rubbish Satan is doing. Why? He looked down on them in order to bring salvation and healing power and healing to those who sincere, who sincere to the word of God. In Philippians. Chapter 1. Let's read Philippians chapter 1. 1. Philippians 1. 15 to 18. Philippians. You need to know the Bible. The secret of the Bible. You need to know the truth of the Bible. Philippians chapter 1. Are we there? 15. Yes. So, so indeed preach Christ even of heaven and scribe and so also of good will. 16, the one preach Christ of quotation, not sincerely, supposing to add affection to my bond. 17, but the order of love, knowing that I am set from defense of the, of the gospel. gospel. Go ahead. What then? What then, notwithstanding, even way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached and I dare do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. Are you seeing it now? God bless you. Whether they preach it in truth or they preach it in the other wrong way, whether they decide right now to begin to deceive people, but what happened? All Christ is preached. Are you seeing it now? All Christ is what is preached. They can be agent or Satan. Christ will still use them to work to do his work. That is what makes him to become almighty. But you must what? You must be very careful. It is, it is always God's desire that those who proclaim the gospel be righteous. That is God's desire that all the people that preach the gospel must what? Must be, be righteous people. Let's read in 1 Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 7. 1 Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 7. Are we there? This is the true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desire a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, giving to hospitality, apart from teach, not give to wine, nor Stoker, not agree or faith record, but patience, not even not converse. Convers One that truly wear this way, this own house, having his children in suggestion with gravity. For if a man know not how to build his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a notice that be lifted up with pride or fall into the 
on the nation of the evil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them, which I will tax, that he spread into the reproach and the call of the evil. No, stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Thank you so much because of the time. Praise the Lord. You can see there that is somebody who desire the office of a bishop, who desire to be a pastor, who desire to be a Christian, must be a Christian of one wife, a Christian of one, one husband, Christian of what of a good behavior. A good conduct, it must be such person. It must be a somebody who know how to care a, care for his own children. If you don't know how to care for your own husband, for your own wife, for your own children, how can you take care of God's people? And I didn't know pastor, divorce pastor, they are pastor, they are leading you. I didn't know pastor there, I didn't know Christians there. You can say then they will raise their hand to be their wife. But they will tell you they are dicky in church. Are they not people are there? People are rebellious children. They are, are there. They tell you they are children of God. We round up now because of the time. Yet when an evil when an evil or immoral immoral person preach God's word. God can God can still work in the heart of those who receive his word with word with unrighteous with unrighteous preacher or the righteous preacher of the gospel. But he will what he will end endorse Babalica truth and those who have set it in word in faith. Those that have set it in faith, even though that they preach. As long as those people accept it with faith, God can still do his work. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, but Bible said, I never know you. What, what type of Christians are you? What type of woman be are you as a Christian? How do you, are you really interested to do God's work? Are you really interested to stand on the truth? Are you really interested to say, Lord, I will let your will swallow my will. Your thought must swallow my thought. Your character must swallow my character. Your decision will swallow my decision. And they know people that say, this area, I, you cannot enter this area. The Bible said, I never know you. I want you to bow down yourself this morning and look into your life. Who are you? Look into your life this morning. Look into your life this morning and cry to the Lord and tell the Lord to help you. Tell the Lord, I don't want to receive that word. I never know you. Tell him to help you, but you can help yourself also by knowing the sin you are committing, by knowing the area where you are not working right with God to make amendment. Making amendment in every angle making amendment to say lord as on today i decided i surrender cry unto the lord this morning don't be a don't be all those people that are pretend you know the life you are living why can't you cry say lord deliver me lord deliver me from this sin lord i am living contrary to your will lord as on today I decided to follow you. I have made up my mind. Lord, I have made up my mind. Lord, show me the mercy that I will not receive that voice. Get away. I never know you. Tell the Lord to help you. Tell the Lord, I need your strength. Tell the Lord, I need you, Abba Father. Tell the Lord, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I want to be a real servant. I want to follow you. Lord, I want to bless you. You have used me to speak the word, to preach your word again. Lord, I am calling on you this morning that you show me your mercy. 
I don't want to receive that voice. Get away. I know you know. Hey, Abba Father, deliver me from this body of death. I don't want to receive that voice. Father, how may she not be? Lord, help me. I root out everything that is not of you. Where I am not walking well. Lord, where I am not walking according to your word. Father, reveal the secret of my heart. Reveal them to me. I want to know, my Father, who I am in your presence. Lord, reveal it to me. Lord, reveal them to me. Those things that will make me not to enter your kingdom. Those things, Lord, that will make me to be far away. Holy Father, I pray. Father, show me the mercy. Show me the mercy. Let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy defend me. Let your mercy see me through. Let your mercy, O Lord, my Father in glory, do your work in me. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, let your will be done. Not as I will, not as I want to go, but as you want, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, this morning, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved brothers and sisters, you can make a decision this morning. A decision to say, no, I will never receive that voice. I know you not. Multitudes of Christians are going to receive that voice. You remember I told you time ago how God took me away from this world. And I was made to understand 95% having the mark of the beast. 95%. Are you telling me it's only 5% of people that are serving God in the whole world? Well, all this 95%, why did they receive the mark of the beast? Because these are Christians that are not what that are not prepared. These are Christians that are jeopardizing with the gospel of Christ. These are Christians that are still making caricature with their life. These are Christians that are not yet ready. They are comfortable with sin. They are comfortable with envy, with proud, with proud, with rudeness, with the things of this world. Why can't you? Make up your decision and say, Lord, as on today, I surrender. I make a new decision. As on this moment, I repent for my sin. If you, you know those things you are doing, you mean to say, Lord, goodbye. Cry unto the Lord this morning. Tell him to root out every habit in you that does not give glory to him. Tell him, Lord, root it out. Father, you alone is my father. You alone is my shepherd. Lord, every habit that has been deposited in me, Lord, that does not give glory to you. Father, I ask you to root it out. Root them out of my life. Every habit that does not represent you in my life. Every habit, Lord, Holy Father, how mercy upon me. Father, I pray, Lord, you root them out. Lord, I don't want to go to hell. I pray for all your children. Lord, root the way every habit that does not give glory to you. Father, let them be root out, Lord. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless you. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for all the children that are in the womb. I know you will preserve them. Thank you for all the ones that will enter this week. Lord, I know that womb will be open this week. I know that you will do something great. Lord, I know as we back on on this fasting and prayer, Lord, you will empower us in this journey. You will strengthen us on this journey. It's a marathon time. Lord, I pray for this marathon. As many those that say, Lord, I keep him. Lord, may you be with them. May you protect them. May you guide them for the hands of the evil one. 
Lord, oh. our children also are backing up on their fasting and prayer today. Lord, I pray you strengthen all our children. I pray that you encourage them. I pray you will empower them. You will strengthen them more and more. Lord, and at the end, the purpose of doing this fasting will be achieved. Our children, as they are returning back to school, they are returning back with a great wisdom. They are returning back with a great knowledge. They are returning back with your understanding. They are returning back with a different mind. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Go ahead, Father. And let your name below be glorified. That at the end, we have the cause to rejoice, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Parents, I want you to get a notice that all our children are on fasting and prayer till one o'clock. From six years old up, all children, please, they are on fasting and prayer. You mothers, you parents that are, when we call on parents meeting, you are not there. But when the school authority call for parents meeting, you are there. You are not doing evil to me. You are doing yourself evil. When our children are supposed to be in meeting, our children are not there. You will tell me you forget. But the school will tell you that the children will be on school so so time, you will not forget. God is going to judge you. What we are doing, God is going to judge what I'm doing. Brothers, is the best the best life you should give to your children is to show to make them to know Jesus. That is the only best life. But many of you parents, many of you fathers. You are not interested to bring your children. But I pray God will help all of us. Please, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, bless and by with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, may His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the heart of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be safe and secure in the name of Jesus. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today that be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I repeat again, the next prayer is 12 o'clock. That prayer is only, that prayer is all only for the people that do fasting and prayer. If you did not do fasting and prayer, don't connect to that prayer. Only those that do fasting and prayer. But I pray that all of us will be on the fasting and prayer. In the book of Micah 7, 7, Wherefore, I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, when I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me, in Jesus' name. May the Lord be a light unto you all in Jesus' name. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day.